Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is new bike day. Finally picked up a new steed to replace my old rain that got stolen and I could not be happier. The Santa Cruz 2022 Bronson is such a trail slayer. I mean, it has handled everything I've thrown at it so far and I can't wait to see what it's gonna be able to take next. I have a lot to say about this bike. Let's get to it. So I've always been on a 27.5 tire, but now with the 29 in front and the 27 in rear, this mullet really shines. The rollover ability in the front combined with the playfulness in the rear just has me looking for every feature that I can find to try to jib. Oh God, Please. I don't have to zigzag through the trail anymore either. I'm just pointing and shooting and it's just awesome. I've never felt so fast. This bike inspires so much confidence that it's a little bit worrisome. Something I wish someone would have told me a long time ago is that the 29 inch tire in the front really makes technical trails a lot easier. I've always been looking for the one bike that can do it all. I'm really not a fan of having a whole fleet, you know, downhill, dirt jumper, trail, cross country. This bike is a very efficient climber, especially for all the travel that's on it. 160 in the front and 150 in the rear normally means a little bit sluggish on the way up. But this one just sprints right to the top, no problem. Descends like a beast, and when I want to catch air, it has no problem getting up in the air. The Fox 36 Performance in the front and the Super Deluxe Select Plus in the back by RockShox are just kind of a weird combination, but what can I say? It seems to work. We eventually want to get some Cane Creek components on here, but until they become in stock, I'll rock this. I've had the bike for about a week now and I've already made some upgrades. I could not do the Code R brakes that it came with. I have been so used to the bite on Shimano's, I had to get something else. I ended up going with the TRP Trail Evos and I love them. They bite so hard and so fast. Even before I bedded them in, they were already providing plenty of stopping power. The big beefy rotors that come with the TRP Trail Evos are sick. They are 200 mil in the front and back and they grab so hard. I put some one-up carbon bars, they are awesome. Them. They have a little bit of compliance on the up and down, but not anything on the side, so the steering isn't compromised, but it gives your hands a little bit of a break on those long descents. Normally, the stock SRAM hub on this bike is about 18 points of engagement, but somehow I lucked out, and this one came with an E13 hub with plenty of engagement. Gotta say, I'm not disappointed. The RockShox Reverb dropper post does only have 175 millimeters of drop, which I thought would be plenty, but it turns out from my optimum pedaling position, I do need it up just a little bit, so I will probably be looking to upgrade maybe to a Fox transfer dropper, ooh, with the Kashima coat. That would match well. Still rocking the stock Bergtech stem. Might upgrade that, but no need right now. It's nice and short, and I like it. I switched over to SRAM for my drivetrain this time, and I am not disappointed. Having that 52, on the top of the cassette has really been a game changer when it comes to climbs that I would have never even attempted before. Also, the shifting just seems to be smoother than Shimano. I don't know what it is, but I definitely think I'm gonna continue going with SRAM for my drivetrain. The ODI Rogue grips are nice and fat and chunky, which is good for my hands. Uh, seems to really take a little bit of stress off my hands on those bike park bends too. Can't forget the one-up pedals. I don't ride any bike without them. I'll leave a link up here for the old review and I kind of say, I would never switch to another set of pedals. Come in stock with Raceface AR30 hoops. The nice 30 millimeter internal width gives you plenty of traction on the ground. As far as tires go, I'm rocking a DHR2 by Maxxis in the back and a DHF in the front. Eventually I plan on switching those out with maybe an Asagai and a Dissector, or maybe even getting a little wild and checking out the Michelin Wild Enduros. Whenever I get a new bike, I have to name it. So since it's blonde, has a mullet, and can take a beating, I'm gonna go with Hulk Hogan. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers who helped me out on my GoFundMe to make this possible. When I got my bike stolen, I was in a bad place. I couldn't ride, and that's what I do when I normally am in a bad place. So I am just so thankful to be able to be back on a bike in such a short amount of time. Thank you guys for being able to help out. I really, really appreciate it. Have any questions for me about my bike? Feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for dropping in with me today, guys. Hit that subscribe button, and if you do, I'll catch you in the next adventure.